Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSAR task. In our previous video, we discussed about RT events, runnable entity and other AutoSAR concepts. I have mentioned all those videos in the description. You can watch it. From this video, you will learn about it. What is task? Why task is important in the AutoSAR world? What is the purpose of having a task? What will happen without task? And what are the types of tasks are there in the AutoSAR world? These all are the knowledge you will get it from this video. If you will see this picture, whenever you are designing a software component, you might have seen the RT events, runnable entity inside the internal behavior. Might be some people will have a thought, who will trigger this runnable entity? Basically, the runnable entity will be associated with the RT events. So, who will trigger the RT event now? How the control will go to OS? How OS will decide when they need to trigger the particular activity? If you will see this picture, the software component has runnable entity. Every runnable entity will be mapped with a task and the task completely managed by the OS application. In this video, we are going to deeply discuss about how exactly the task will play a major role to trigger the runnable. If you will see this picture, the task has a multiple states. For example, ready, suspend, running, waiting. These all are the states also. We are going to discuss more deeper in this video. First, what is task? Task is the smallest schedulable unit managed by the operating system. So, the operating system will decide based on the task to trigger whether it is a cyclical task, meaning periodic task or non-periodic or when they have to trigger, whether it is an event-based task or not. Everything is based on the configuration. This will be decided by the operating system. So, OS will decide which activity need to be run and when it need to be run. And runnable entity of a software component runs in the context of a task and uses its stack space. At the same time, the basic software modules also runs in the context of a task. So, before start to discuss about the more detailed about the types of tasks, first we should understand about the task states. It has suspended, ready, running, waiting or block. Suspended means the task is not ready for execution. Ready means the task is ready for execution and not currently running. Running means the task is currently executing. Waiting or blocked state means the task is waiting for a resource or even and not ready for execution. Now we can discuss about types of task in the AutoSAR architecture. Basically, we have a two kind of task. One is basic task, another one is extended task. Basic task means it has the name here itself, basic. So, it has a defined beginning and defined end. It does not have a waiting state. So, it has suspended, ready and running state. It cannot wait for OS events. That is called as a basic task. Extended task, in the name itself, it is extended. So, it has a waiting state. So, extended task can also enter the waiting state in which it can wait for an OS event. So, where exactly we can use the extended task in that case? It is suitable for more complex and time critical activities that require synchronization, event handling and interaction with other tasks. In AutoSAR world, where exactly you will decide or where how you can say, hey, I need to map this runnable with the extended task by keeping or by saying the wait point configuration. If your runnable entity has a wait point configuration, then the particular runnable entity should be configured with the extended task only. But most of the cases, we will have a basic task because we need to do such a kind of embedded activities. Now, what is basic tasks? So, basic tasks generally called as single shot tasks. That means that a task is made ready and then starts executing from its entry point. So, during the task execution, it may be preempted by other high priority tasks, but it will continue to run until termination. And it can be made ready again later and the task can execute again. That is a speciality in basic tasks. So, if you will think about when the OS component chooses to run a task, it moves from ready state to running state. If you will see here, it will move from ready to running state. The execution of the task starts from the task entry point. 
if a high priority task becomes ready to run then the currently executing task is preempted and is moved from the running state into ready state so if you will see this picture here see whenever the preemption then it will come to the ready state but the only one thing you have to keep in your mind is only one task can be in the running state at any one time a task returns to the suspended state by terminating and by seeing this behavior the basic task highly suitable for embedded control functionality basically the basic tasks are fast and efficient extended task if you will see here extended task has a waiting state as well so extended task has start execute wait for events and terminate so extended task usually usually exist in infinite loops so once they are running they do not normally terminate they can sleep in a waiting state pending the outcome of an event and one more thing in the extended task it moves from the running to the waiting state when it voluntarily suspends itself by waiting on an event an event is simply a system object that is used to provide an indicator for a system event if an extended task is waiting on an event then task of lower priority are allowed to run by seeing all this then we can say like for an example you can consider where we can use a extended task so waiting for user interaction then basic task now now we have discussed about basic task and extended task so by considering these two features how we will say which is best on which cases and where we can exactly use it so if we can take a scheduler perspective the, ba the basic task we can reduce the time spent by the scheduler in making decisions so the actual time spent by the scheduler which consumes resources that cannot be used by a real task anymore so if we have a basic task then the scheduler will schedule the task only after the alarm is expired you can take an example of if you have a 5 millisecond basic task so oes will schedule only after the expiry of 5 milliseconds alarm so by seeing this feature by uh, considering we can say so the basic tasks will be more benefitable in the case of real case of embedded applications so if you are considering extended task then scheduler will check for the event in a for loop and if an event is found then it needs to be find which event is set in a list of conditions so it's everything is based on a condition so by considering this factor the extended task will eat up scheduler time and will affect throughout the system so basically the extended task check for event happens every time so if the event is found then it needs to go through the complete loops so that means generally the rte will generate with a uh, uh, loops then it will completely check for everything so this is a major difference between the basic task and extended tasks so in the next video i will clearly explain about how we can configure a task in autosar world so hope you have a clarity about what is basic task what is extended task and what is the purpose of task in the autosar world or when you are get an opportunity to work in the os side uh, then you should know about it and if you are uh, doing your autosar integration uh, then also you need an idea about what all the tasks are available in the autosar world thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day